Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to come to you for the second time because the first time I screwed up the name of our group. <laughs> but anyways, um, so me, well, I'm excited and Lisa's excited because we started a Facebook page yesterday and um, the name of our Facebook page is going to be called Will Craft for supplies. So um, we have been talking back and forth with each other about, um, you know, about the amount of projects that we make and the amount of money we spend. And we kind of wish there was an easier way to kind of still, s my daughter's calling me. Yes, Gabby, come here, baby. So we were kind of thinking, trying to come up with a way that we could still scrap and still spend and not feel so bad because we are, you know, still going to be using the supplies that we have. But still, when new stuff comes out, you know, we want to buy it. And it's too hard not to buy. And um, I know I, I failed at it. So, and then when I was able to buy, I bought a whole bunch. Like, I totally made up for not spending any money for three or four weeks. I made up for it and then some. And um, <clears throat> so, we've been trying to come up with a way that we can do both. So... You know, we were like, well, what if we put a dollar amount to the project that we make? So, for example, if I make a layout, if we make a layout, that would be $5. So, we would be rewarding ourselves so we can go ahead and purchase new stuff. So, um, what do you need, baby? Go over there. You know, it bugs me because she knows what I'm doing and she comes in here anyway. So, <laughs> But anyways, um, so back to what I was saying. So if I make a scrapbook layout, that would be $5. If we make a card, that would be $2. If we make a layout, like our, in our Project Life book, if you make a layout, like one page, would be $2. And this is money that you're earning for yourself, for your budget, so that you can go spend money and know that you have made projects with. Because I think... The problem is, is when somebody shows something on YouTube or we see something new, we're like, oh, I want that because I can make this layout with it or I can do this with it. And then we get it, we bring it home and it just sits there. So I'm guilty of that. And it just sits there and sits there and then we still continue to buy. But um, it's hard not to buy because we want, you know, the newest things out and CHA, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I see so many lines that I want to buy, so many collections that I want to buy, but I know that I need to continue to use what I have. So um, hopefully we're like marrying the two, making projects while still being able to spend. Um, because I know for me, it's too hard not to spend. And so, um, so I know what my budget is, what I can afford to spend every month, and I need to stay within that budget. So I want to try and make projects to get me closer to my budget. So for example, let's say I can spend $50 a month on my crafts, on my supplies and stuff. So I know that I need to make enough projects to get me as close to that $50 point as I can. Now, sure, I can go over the $50, but if my personal budget does not allow for me to spend more, then I don't need to be spending more. But at least this is a fun way to track what we're spending and kind of rewarding ourselves at the same time. So um, what you can do is go to your Facebook and do a search and it's called Will Craft for Supplies. And then you just send a request to join and, and we'll go ahead and accept you. And then in that page, in our Facebook group, there will be a document there so you can keep track of your total. So for example, I think like right now, Lisa put for an example, Lisa, $30. So come the end of the month or whenever she's ready to shop, she knows how much money she's earned to go ahead and shop for. And that way it kind of helps with the guilt, I hope, is my plan. It helps with the guilt of buying still, but yet I know, hey, at least I have made 10 layouts this month. You know, I don't feel so bad going and spending, you know, $30, $40 when I know I have used, 
you know, new, the supplies that I have in my room. There's no way I can go through all my supplies. I know there's not a way for a lot of us, unless we're like new beginner scrappers. But you know, I've been at it for 10 years, so trust me, I have 10 years worth of supply. I know a lot of people have been in it way longer than me and or have just jumped right into it and bought and bought and bought. And no, there's no way we can use our supplies, but hey, at least we're making an effort. We're gonna continue to make projects. We're gonna reward ourselves for making these projects and we're gonna come up with a fun way to um, keep tally or keep totals for that so I'm excited about the group um uh and I will just hope that you guys go and check us out and maybe join as well so if you do join um there is a, also another document on there that will show th different things that we thought of that people make like project life cards altering projects even cleaning your room my goodness can you see this mess I have over here over here there's a mess over there if I really took the time to take everything down which I would love to do but it's not gonna happen <laughs> unless somebody lives close to me and wants to come help me but um yeah it would be great to take all of this stuff out of its shelves and like really super organize it it would probably take me 10 hours to do or something let's say well then we have allocated ten dollars an hour for cleaning up like really cleaning up your scrap space you know really getting organized really cleaning it up and we've allocated like 10 bucks an hour for doing that so I could earn a hundred dollars but you know what if my budget only allows me my personal budget only allows me fifty dollars to chop at least I know I have done something constructive that month so that when I go spend my money I know I've done something constructive and I feel better about it so um yeah, so I'm excited about it. I've already uh, had plans to make a card tonight and hopefully post that on the group. And um, yeah, I just want to jump in and go at it. And I know Lisa's really excited about it. And she's the one who uh, made the Facebook page group. And she did a really, really great job. I love the sign that she came up with. It's so, so cute. So Lisa, thanks for doing that. And um, yeah, both her and I are excited about it. And hopefully you guys go and check it out and join in. And um, let's have fun together. Let's still make projects and let's still shop because apparently we can't do one without the other. It's too hard to make too many, you know, to make projects and not shop. And it's, you know, we feel bad about shopping, shopping, shopping and not making any products. So let's join the two together and hopefully, you know, we can cheer each other on and show everybody, you know, show each other the projects that we made and the new goodies that we get because it's hard not to watch haul videos. I love to watch haul videos and so it's hard to stay away from those because I don't want to tempt myself to go shop so I watch them and you know what I go shop anyway so yeah so hopefully this will be a happy medium for the two and anyways thanks for watching hopefully you guys will go to check us out and we're looking forward to seeing you on the Facebook group bye have a great afternoon bye